Who wants to learn or get inspired on how to braid your short hair or any type of hair you have 10 different ways? If braids had dance moves, that would be mine. <laughs> What's yours? One thing that I've learned throughout the years is Mr. Clean is not your friend when braiding your hair. You want that grit, you want that texture. Basically, you want to be a dirty girl. No, that just went somewhere way, way wrong. But basically, you want some kind of texture in your hair. If you are gonna braid on the first day, add some texture spray like I did today. This is the Orbe, and I love this stuff. It's super easy to use, and it's great. Let's start off with the number one braid, and that's probably one of the most known braids out there. It's the French braid. My hair is parted in the middle, and I'm gonna take a small section, and then take some bobby pins, and then pin it back. So I'm gonna grab right below, and then just meet my fingers in the middle, behind the little bump. And then divide into three sections. Taking my right section, I'm gonna put it over the middle, and tighten it down, just like that. And then going to the other side, to my left section, I'm gonna bring it over to the new middle section. Once I get over to the other side, I'm gonna place the right section down, and I'm gonna start adding hair. And I'm gonna start adding hair. Once I get to the middle, I'm gonna stop, take this section, and cross it over the middle with the added hair. Hold it down, place the section down, the left section now. I'm gonna slide it towards the middle and bring it over the middle with the new hair. And then continue doing this again. Once you have no more hair to braid, just tie off the ends with a clear elastic. Before I finish off the hairstyle, I'm gonna go back in and pull apart the braid to make it a little bit more bigger and add more volume to the hair. <laughs> Andre and I are making fun of my little rat tail right now. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> All right, let's do something about that. So I'm gonna take the little hair and I'm gonna roll it underneath and tuck it and pin it away with my mini bobby pins. Andre just said the rat tail was being a good doggy. Put its tail away. <laughs> so obviously, you guys saw that my hair did fall out in the front because it is too short. And I like to keep it this way. I think it's really pretty. It frames the face very well with the braid. And this is my take on that really beautiful classic French braid. Number three. That's number two in Dutch. And I did just Google Translate that. This is the Dutch braid. It's basically an inverted French braid. Instead of the strands going over the middle, they're going underneath. Starting with my two pointer fingers. They're like my best friends when it comes to braiding. Grab a nice section. It does not have to be perfect. And split that into threes. Grabbing my right outer section, I'm gonna tuck it underneath the middle. Bring this one to the other side. Take my left outer section. I'm gonna bring it right underneath as well. And this is where I'm gonna start adding hair. So taking my pointer finger, drop the section down, grab it, we're gonna tuck it underneath. Going to the other side, grab some hair, drop the outer left section, and then bring it underneath the middle section. Continue braiding your hair until you reach the crown portion of your head and then stop braiding there. So once you reach the crown, I'm not gonna braid the little portion that's left. You can if you want to, I don't prefer. But when I tie it off, I grab hair in the back underneath the ponytail that's left and I just tie it off closely to my scalp. That way the little ponytail won't be hanging loose and it's gonna be nice flat to the head. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna loosen up the braid to give it a more voluminous, bigger look. So I'm gonna start in the front and I'm gonna start gently pulling the braid. You can leave it like this without doing anything extra to your hair. You can do like a little messy bun right here at the very end of the braid, or you can add a little beret. Remember my three little shields? You can add it right on top of the ponytail that we did to hide the clear elastic if you want. This hairstyle will consist of two fishtail braids. So I'm gonna divide the hair, create a section, kind of mimicking a mohawk. Making sure it's pretty even, that looks good. And I'm just gonna clip this away for now and then grab the rest of the hair and pin it away. I'm gonna let the section go and I'm gonna divide it right in half to create two sections. So from the front, I'm gonna grab a small section of hair and then the fishtail braid is consisting of only two strands. So split it right in half 
I'm gonna take off a small section on the outer portion of the braid and I'm gonna tuck it underneath adding it to the other side like that and do the same thing to the other side take a small section off bring it underneath and add it over to the other section just like that this is where I'm gonna start adding here take a little section from the braid you can add small or large doesn't matter how big and I'm gonna drop it and then grab hair from underneath and add it underneath to the other side Take some hair off, grab some hair to create it a little bit bigger, and bring it over to the other side. So this braid does take a little bit extra work, but it's easy to work with because it is only two strands. Once I had no more hair to braid, I just braid another inch to two inches, and then I'm just going to tie it off with a clear elastic and keep another two inches of my hair unbraided. Go on to the other side and repeat the same exact steps. You can leave it like this with just the little ponytails in the back. Or what I like to do with this hairstyle, the ends, I'm going to cross them over each other. I'm going to place them down. I'm going to take this little hair clip and I'm going to clip it right on top of it. So there you have it. This is my style for the fish tile braid. You can also add a little mini bun in the top, just like with the Dutch braid, but you can leave it like this. Braid number four is going to be a lace braid. I'm gonna section off my hair for the hair that I only wanna grab in the front. I'm gonna grab a section from the top and I'm gonna divide it into three sections. A lace braid is basically where you add hair to only one side instead of both left and right. Without adding any hair, I'm gonna take this front section and I'm gonna cross it over the middle and then just repeat on the other side. Take the section, cross it over the middle. So this is where I'm gonna start adding hair to only the front section of the braid. Place this braid down. I'm gonna take my finger, my pointer finger again, my best friend, and I'm gonna add the hair all the way from where the section ends, where we sectioned it off. Grab the hair and bring it over the middle, like so. Take this section right here, Without adding hair, I'm gonna bring it over the middle. Place the section down, the one that's closest to my face, index finger, grab the section all the way over to the section where I parted it, and bring it over the middle. Towards the back, take the section, bring it over the middle. This braid is super easy, because you only have to concentrate on one side where you add the hair. I'm gonna continue braiding this hair until I have no more hair left to add. Repeat on the other side. Once I'm done braiding, I'm gonna take these little rat tails and I'm just gonna bring them towards the back of my head in the middle. And I'm just gonna pin them away with a little bobby pin. Take the hair that's clipped away and unclip it. And there you have it. It's a legit tiny miniature lace headband on both sides. Braid number five is going to be a waterfall twist. So it's basically like a waterfall braid, but it has a twist in the braid. So I'm gonna make my part a little bit more to the right, not too crazy deep, I'm gonna grab a nice section of hair starting from the front. So with this braid, I'm gonna start working from the back, making my way down. So I'm gonna take this hair and I'm gonna cross it over, like so, over the middle, and then under the front portion, like so. I'm gonna drop this section, and then I'm gonna take this section right here and I'm gonna twist it over the middle. So that's where the twist comes in. Hold these two sections down, and this is where you're gonna start grabbing hair. So I'm gonna grab smaller sections, and I'm gonna take this hair, and I'm gonna bring it over, like so. And then take this section, and I'm gonna bring it over. So basically this one's going under, like that. And I can just pull that, see? Going back to the outer section, I'm gonna cross it over the middle, and stop. Go back up, grab a smaller section, and we're gonna bring this over the middle and then under the outer and drop. So I'm gonna take these two pieces, I'm not gonna take the little waterfall portion, I'm gonna take these two pieces and tie it off with a clear elastic. 
So you can leave it like this, or what I like to do to add a little bit more glam and sparkle into my life is I love these little bobby pins from Francesca's and they always have different kind. I'm gonna take the bobby pin and secure it right on top of the little hair, hair tie that I just did, right to the hair. And that's my take on the waterfall twist braid. So if you guys love the whole idea of waterfall braids, but you still can't really grasp the technique of the whole pulling through, grabbing the right step, this is my faux waterfall braid. It is so easy, faux show. Sure. Grab a section in the front, divide the section into threes, and just braid like a regular three strand braid. Over, under, over, under. Once I reach the end and I have about like an inch to half an inch left unbraided, I'm just gonna tie it off with a clear elastic. So you see how the braid is positioned going towards the back? You see these bottom portions, the little bumps that it makes? This is where I'm gonna pull it apart and create this hole, just like that. Create the hole from underneath, and I'm gonna start grabbing smaller sections of hair from the top to pull through, and just pull it through. Just like that. Put it in the hole. Exactly. Put it in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Move on right to the next one. Make the hole. And grab a section of hair. And pull it through. And we're pulling the hair through the top. So do you see how it's doing that? It's super simple. So once you have pulled majority of your braid through, you see I have two little sections left. The reason why I'm not gonna pull through more hair is because if I pull any more, just my braid is gonna fall apart and it's too thin. So I'm gonna leave these few pieces left undone, but majority of my braid is complete. It is so easy, guys. You have to try this out. You can leave it like this, just like I said with the waterfall braid, or you can add the same thing, a cute little piece of some kind of glamorized pin and just make it pretty. And this takes us to number seven. This is gonna be the four strand braid. I'm gonna start on the left side first and I'm gonna leave some of this hair hanging down to kind of frame my face a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab a nice healthy section from the top. And I'm gonna divide it into four. So this creates two outer sections and two inner sections. So I'm gonna start off first on the front side closest to my face. Taking this outer section, I'm gonna tuck it underneath the first inner underneath and then go over the second intersection like so and stop and then taking the outer farthest section I'm gonna bring it over the second inner and under the first intersection like so and stop so taking the front outer section I'm gonna do under the front middle and then over the other outer section and then just continuing this. So you see this second section right here? So you have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take two of these. I'm gonna cross this middle, this outer section over the second middle. And I'm gonna hold all three of them together and just hold this one on its own. I'm gonna take the braid and I'm gonna pull it up. When you pull apart the braid, concentrate on the outer portions only. Leave the center alone. So, and then I, when I finish Pulling it apart, I just tied it off with a clear elastic. Once you have the second braid done, and you see how the braid is not laying flat to my head, I'm gonna take a small mini bobby pin and I'm just gonna pin it to my hair underneath. So there you have it, this is my four stranded braid. Braid number eight is a macrame braid, and it sounds really fancy and really hard to do, but it's really simple. So with this braid, because my hair is so short and I have short layers, I'm gonna take a smaller section of hair to begin with. So I'm gonna grab a small section of hair from the top, and I'm gonna divide it into three, like a regular three-strand braid. When you do this braid, don't go too tight. You wanna start it from the front, over, under, over, under, over and under and continue doing this until you have about like an inch or so left of all three strands so you see you have three strands you have outer inner and another outer section we're going to take these two outer sections put them together and pull the braid up so we're going to keep this middle section hanging straight down so do you see how that creates kind of like this 
macrame wave and kind of pull it down. Keep pulling up and then pull it back down. Kind of separate the pieces. So because this braid is so tiny and thin, I'm not even gonna use a clear elastic. I'm just gonna take a mini bobby pin. I get these either on Amazon or Sally's. I'll have it linked down below. And then I'm just gonna take some hair, pick it up, and then just hide this braid. But I'm not gonna pull it. I'm gonna leave it pretty loose. Take the mini bobby pin and just secure it. You can leave it like this, just one braid, but I'm gonna show you on the other side as well what it looks like with two. So I wanted to show you guys a quick difference. On the right side, I grabbed a little bit smaller section of hair and I made it a little bit more polished. I didn't pull it apart as much. And you get like that really beautiful defined, like kind of like the macrame braid. And then the other side, it's a little bit thicker and it's a little bit more messier, but you still get the same effect. Which one do you guys like better? The thinner polished look or the little bit thicker, messier look? I think they're both so pretty and they look so intricate, but they're so easy. That's what I love about this braid. We're almost there, you guys. We're on braid number nine. And this is the rope braid. It is super easy. It's basically doing twists, but it does have a little bit of a technique to it. So I'll be doing two rope braids today. And I'm gonna section off my entire head going from the front to the back and then pinning the rest of the hair that I'm not gonna work on away. So I'm gonna start grabbing a section from the front of the head, split the section of hair in two. I'm gonna twist it going towards my face but I'm gonna go over towards the back. Grab some hair and twist going towards my face twice. One, two, but going away from the face. So you see how it's creating that rope effect? So grabbing extra hair to the section that's underneath, twist towards the face twice, and then away, bring it over and I'm only adding hair to the bottom portion. And you wanna always keep it tight. You don't wanna let go at this point because it's not secure just yet. Take a clear elastic and just tie the end of your rope. So you see how it's staying in place and it's not moving anywhere? That's where that technique comes. You can actually leave it like this. I think it's super pretty and edgy. And this you can do with wet hair because you know all the flyaways will be perfect and it will be easier to twist and it's actually really pretty once you have your hair all dry untwist and you have the most beautiful natural heatless waves if you want to make the hairstyle a little bit more fancy you can do something like this i just connected the ends in the back creating like a halo effect and i just bobby pin them down to my scalp and then put a really pretty like the bobby pins that I was using, I just kind of put it on top of the bobby pins that I secured to give a more glam effect. Hairstyle number 10. We made it, you guys. This one is a beautiful one. So I have just sectioned off my hair exact same way as the Dutch braid and as the two fishtail braids. I'm gonna work with the section up on the top. It's kind of like that mohawk style. And I'm gonna take the section down. Grab a section in the front and I'm gonna split it right in half. I'm going to take a smaller section from the right side and I'm going to start doing the infinity Dutch braid. So Dutch braid, the section goes underneath at first and then over the middle and bring it to the other side. I'm going to add a little bit of hair from the side to make it a little bit thicker and then I'm going to take this underneath the section right here. And then we're gonna take the section over like so. So basically under, over, under, over. So I'm gonna just tie it off, finish it with a clear elastic. And I'm gonna grab some hair underneath to make sure it's nice and flat to my scalp. Once the braid is secure in the back, I'm gonna go to the front and this is where I picked up the front pieces of hair. So there you have it. This is my Dutch Infinity, like bigger retro braid for short hair. You guys, we did it. I'm so proud of us. 10 braids for short hair, it's possible. And just to make it easier on you guys, I will have the timestamps of each braid hairstyle so you can click on the time and it will take you straight to the braid that you wanna look at. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, spending some time with me and getting some more inspiration for your short hair and all the different braids that I just did. I'll see you guys very soon and I love you all very much. Bye.